Hey guys, Dan here with another quick graphic novel review. And I'm saying this is a graphic novel review because this is a Dark Horse original. It is not an ongoing comic book series. It's by Eric Drucker. Drucker, I hope I'm saying his name right. Um, but the cover is absolutely fabulous. And this is a story told through pictures, uh, mainly etchings like woodcuts. There is not really any dialogue, it's just these woodcut etched out um, prints. And there's only like one weird kind of scene where there is some dialogue, but it's like only like two pages. And I'm not going to go into detail about it, but you know, it was kind of interesting. It's the only part of the book where there is dialogue and words to be read. But one thing that really, really caught my eye, and I was like, I gotta make a video about this book. Um, I did like this book. I didn't think it was that great, though. Um, not as much as other people probably enjoyed this. And I'm gonna come to the story of why. But I recognized an image in here, because I am a fan of this particular band. And I was like, oh my god, that is the cover of one of their albums. So apparently, I did some research when I noticed the um, one image. I did some research and I looked it up and found out that yes, that this artist had designed a cover for Faith No More. And how they... How the band came about requesting this guy was that the singer, Mike Patton of Faith No More, had read this book, Flood. He really, really liked it, and he approached Eric Drucker and said, Hey, can you, can you do a cover for my, for my band? And I think he used something he already had, because, and I wish I earmarked it, because then I could show you. But the album cover is um, King for a Day, Fool for a Lifetime. If, I'll leave a link to it down below so you can search it and see what the cover looks like. But that image was here in this book. And like I said, it's just all these like etchings. And I wish I had earmarked it so I could share with you guys the specific image. But like I said, I'm going to have to link it down below. Um, kind of interesting. It does. It's about New York City. I really don't understand why it's called Flood. But it was it was entertaining to take a peek at, and I did rate this three out of five stars on Goodreads. It's worth picking up if you're like into pretty pictures, and you kind of want to see something different. This is one I would recommend, and also I will have a link to the album I'm talking about with the cover, so you can see that and a copy, um, a link for this book too, down below if you're somebody who appreciates art and wants to collect books of art. Uh, if you guys have seen this before, let me know what your thoughts are on it down below. It's kind of cool, like, it's even textured, and, like, it has the feel of, like, the raindrops. It kind of matches the image. Yeah, if you've read this, which I do not know, because I've never seen this on YouTube either. Um, I'm doing a, filming a bunch of videos all in one day kind of thing today. <laughs> if you liked it share it with your friends. If you're looking for more books like this and you're not already a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button. Um, and like I said about the links, since AdSense, please help me out. Um, purchase things through those links to help support my channel. Um, I'm not getting AdSense. It means a lot if you do do that. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, later.